Mark Smith, and after spending some time flipping my college classroom, which is teaching and learning with technology, I found some issues with the use of the presentation boards. Because I travel from different sites, uh, two different sites, uh, I did find that the boards often became chipped, the corners became chipped, uh, and I'd have to replace them, uh, not really frequently, but, but you know, certainly having to run down to the hardware store to get a, a new set cut, and I wanted to have a little more longevity in them. Moreover, during the, the recordings, I often found that the transition from slide to slide, or excuse me, board from to board to board, uh, was a tricky and often became clunky. Uh, sometimes the boards would stick together, and then when you would try to move them, you, you would have to shuffle a little bit. Uh, and when you slide them to the right or to the left, uh, they often got um, mixed up with the other boards. And so I did some brainstorming, and this video shows you how I enhance the boards for longevity and better transitions. Okay, to get us started we're going to need some utensils to prepare your boards. Assorted duct tape, choose any one that you like, the, the wackier the better I think to engage students. You'll need a ruler, a straight edge, a pencil, something to cut with, and these are uh, furniture markers or the felt tip triangles, and also got the audio cabinet glass clips to use for magnets. And all right, to get started, we want to score our board all the way around. You can choose between a half inch and an inch. Uh, the more space you take up with tape, though, the less you're going to have with the content. So I chose about a half inch, and I just score that with my pencil and using the ruler uh, as a half inch all the way around the board. selected duct tape. You want to make sure you have enough to go all the way around, otherwise you can use different colors all the way around the edge. And we'll extend our duct tape. We're going to use our, our marks that we made on our board to line up. You'll leave about a, an inch to an inch and a half of overhang on the, from the duct tape as you lay it on the board. Now you just want to carefully place it on the line you don't want to adhere it all the way yet because you're often going to pull it back up sure it gets straight. And once you get it to the edge, again leaving an overhang of about an inch to an inch and a half. We're going to make sure that's sealed a little bit. And we'll just cut that off. I have scissors. And again leaving about an inch. We'll just cut that right off. After working with the corners, I found that continuity was very important. So whatever side you start with, the second side would be the opposite side of the board. This way the corners have the same formatting, the same layout, uh, just so it looks a little more professional. You can see that I did this side and that side, and I'll do the opposite this side and the opposite side of that. You'll see here that I lay the corners out and I simply keep the edges up so that I'm able to nicely even, nice and evenly put the corners together. Once you have the corners, just take your scissors, locate the corner, and simply make a nice cut all the way to the edge of the corner. And once the scissors stop, you can use it to stretch a little bit. And you have that kind of nice little wedge there. And I'll show you what we do next. Now that we have the corners cut, we want to make sure that we adhere this very tightly in a nice clean seal. So you go underneath here, and I take that, and I just simply adhere it to the underside of the other side of the duct tape, and I simply pull this straight, and using a nice clean pressure to seal it to the board, all the way down to the other corner. Separate that a little bit and folding that one tip underneath and adhering to the other side of the duct tape. And we just kind of make sure that's nice and 
sealed and you see that it is. Here my daughter is demonstrating how to cut the edges. You simply take that overhang triangle and simply take your scissors and cut that off. And she'll do the other side. And as I told her, you want to make sure that you hold the outside of the triangle to make it easier to cut. You see that she's having a little difficulty here. But she eventually gets it done by pulling the outside and chopping it. Our next step is to take our felt tip triangles, turn the board over, and we're going to place them on the corners of each of the four corners. This will make it nice and easy to slide the boards from left to right. And you want to make sure you go through and make sure there aren't any bubbles on your duct tape. Just kind of smooth those out. And once you have that done, you want to choose your corner, grab your triangle, remove the adhesive in the back, and simply place it in the corner. Once you have all four corners left, the last step is to take that audio cabinet glass door metal clip that magnetizes to the inside of the cabinet, and that's what's going to be used to move your board from left to right. And don't forget the triangle is in the lower corner, so you want to put it right above that and slides nice and snugly right there. I tend to present from the right hand side, so my board moves from the right to the left if you're looking at it. And so Thank you for watching. <laughs>